Welcome back and good to see you on this Thursday afternoon. I'm meteorologist Josh Stone in for John Scalzi. And anytime you have dew points in the upper 70s here in Florida, yeah, you know it, it's going to be muggy. And with the temperatures in the upper 80s right now, low 90s, it feels like it is 100 degrees. And you can see this on our heat index map. Wow, it is warm and we continue to have this south southwesterly wind that helps to warm things up and bring that mugginess from the Gulf of Mexico and also the clouds and the showers. You can see the radar has been lit up and this has been the case throughout the morning. It looks like most of the showers and storms are tracking along a boundary and anytime they come close to the sun coast, they just kind of clip us and, and go towards Tampa Bay or north of that, maybe towards the nature coast at this time. Just just the setup is what it is of that for today. Now, as far as the radar right now, everything looks very quiet. We did have a stronger storm here in Brainton producing some very heavy wet weather. That storm now has moved off and basically has fizzled out maybe a few raindrops east of I-75 at this time. But where it is raining pretty hard is up here in the northern uh, uh, northeast part of the United States. And just yesterday in the mid-Atlantic states, they got doused with very heavy rainfall. This system looked like it's starting to ramp, ramp up here and move out into the Atlantic, but all of this moisture associated with an area of low pressure to the south here, or to the north of us, but here in the southeastern United States, brings us that muggy air, also the scattered showers and storms in the morning hours, then with the heating of the day, these storms fire up inland, but also it is helping to drag moisture all the way up the Atlantic seaboard and they're dealing with their share of wet weather. For us, other than a few scattered showers and storms that could develop inland today, I think uh, for the most part we'll be spared of any sort of shower activity along the coast for the rest of the afternoon. And then as you can see, things start to fizzle out and we're going to be left with partly cloudy skies for this evening. And tomorrow, it's almost like a transition day, we'll have partly cloudy skies and really quiet conditions, only like a 20% chance of showers, and that's about it. But then as we get into the weekend, the winds shift and they'll be coming up from the southeast, and that will help to bring us some more storms in the afternoon, pushing in our direction uh, along the west coast of Florida. As far as the tropics go, nothing to show you here. Everything is very quiet. And the seven-day outlook, again, for Friday, we have a less chance of rain, and then with that southeasterly steering wind, the storms will fire up inland in the afternoon and then be pushed towards the coast on Saturday and Sunday. And then, as you can see, early into um, next week and mid uh, next week, we'll have more showers and storms in the afternoon as well. Back to you, Scott.